At first glance, the image of a warplane riddled with red might not seem like much. But these dots represent bullet holes, and the image itself originates from one of the most significant statistical studies conducted during World War II. It's a visual example of survivorship bias and how it transformed the way the Allies approached their air strategy. The insights gleaned from this study arguably saved thousands of lives and helped ensure Allied dominance in the skies. This video dives into the story behind this diagram and its profound impact on the Allied air dominance. By the early 1940s, air combat had become a cornerstone of modern warfare. Control of the skies was crucial for reconnaissance, bombing missions, and the overall ability to cripple enemy infrastructure. However, with air superiority came immense risks. Allied planes were being shot down at alarming rates, and commanders needed to find ways to increase their survival chances. Planes returning from missions bore the scars of war, bullet holes, and shrapnel damage, which seemed to tell the story of where improvements were needed. The logical approach, at least on the surface, was to reinforce these damaged areas to better protect the aircraft and their crews. But was this assumption correct? Enter Abraham Wald, a Hungarian-American mathematician working with the Statistical Research Group, SRG, at Columbia University. Wald and his team were tasked with analyzing data from returning aircraft to make recommendations for improving their survivability. The data presented a compelling but misleading pattern. Allied engineers and military officials observed that the wings, fuselage, and tail sections of returning planes were riddled with bullet holes, while areas like the engines appear to have sustained relatively little damage. The intuitive solution seemed obvious. Reinforce the wings and fuselage, where the most damage was observed. However, this line of reasoning was flawed. It focused solely on the planes that made it back, ignoring the fate of those that didn't. The damaged planes were survivors of their missions, and their bullet holes did not represent all the damage sustained in combat. The missing data, the planes that never returned, held the key to understanding the real vulnerabilities. Wald's breakthrough lay in recognizing this oversight. He understood that the observed damage on returning planes was a random. It was evidence of areas that could sustain hits without causing the plane to crash. In other words, the bullet holes marked areas where planes could absorb damage and still make a home. The areas with little or no observed damage, such as the engines, were likely the critical points. Hits in these regions were catastrophic and prevented planes from returning. Wald's recommendation was counterintuitive but brilliant. Reinforce the areas that showed the least damage, not the most. This insight is a textbook example of survivorship bias where conclusions are drawn based only on the subjects that survive a process, ignoring those that don't. By accounting for the missing data, Wald's analysis provided a more accurate picture of the true vulnerabilities of Allied aircraft. The implementation of Wald's recommendations marked a turning point in the air war. Reinforcing the engines and other critical areas significantly improved the survivability of Allied bombers and fighters. Pilots noticed the difference almost immediately. Planes that would have previously been lost to enemy fire were now returning home, their crews safe, and their mission successful. This change had ripple effects across the war effort. With fewer planes lost, the Allies could maintain a higher operational tempo, conducting more missions, and applying relentless pressure on Axis forces. The improved survivability also boosted morale among air crews, who knew their chances of returning from dangerous missions had increased. The principles behind Wald's analysis continued to influence military strategy long after World War II. The U.S. military and militaries around the world adopted more rigorous approaches to data analysis and decision-making. The use of statistical models to evaluate risk and improve outcomes became standard practice, not just in aviation, but across all branches of the armed forces. Moreover, Wald's insights laid the groundwork for advancements in fields like operations research and systems engineering. These disciplines, which focus on optimizing complex systems and processes, owe much to the statistical methodologies developed during the war. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, subscribe for similar content and historical videos. Thanks for watching.